Hello neighbors, today we're gonna do a fun one. This one is for the kids, everything for the kids. How many of you guys have visited Korea? I'm sure as you walk along, you've seen some of those stalls that are making kerampang, which translates to egg bread. I'm gonna show you how to make it at home. Let's start off with three-fourths cup of milk. Just eyeball it, that looks around three-fourths cup. To this, let's crack in one egg. Yeah, it looks familiar, right? It's like we're making pancakes. And then we're gonna use some hot cake mix. What's the difference between hot cakes and pancake? They're the same. So you use either hot cake or pancake mix. For the pancake mix, we need a two to one ratio to the milk. We use three fourth. Three fourth times two is six four. Four divided into six is 1.5. Was this too much math in the morning? Come on, you better step it up. This is one cup. Just don't add it in all at once, just a little bit. Like that, and the remaining half. Work it through evenly, consistency, just like pancake batter. Let's melt some butter. Nice. Hot, 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 hot. Now, as I mentioned, the street vendors will use this oval metal mold. But for home cooking, we can use these paper cups, roughly the length of your palm. And then let's test your Korean abilities. What does chin hwanggyeong mean? Hwanggyeong means environment. Chin as in chinjar, meaning friendly. So friendly for the environment, yeah. And with that brief Korean lesson, your butter should have calmed down. Just coat the inside of this cup. We're gonna coat four cups, will be just enough. And we're gonna add our pancake mix. Just add halfway, guys, not too much. Make sure you don't drop in any eggshell and ruin your kerang bang. If you like, we can cut a little thing of bacon and we can get some bacon bits onto here. Why not? Before we add the bacon, crack open the egg yolk. That way it could sort of open up and spread out evenly when it cooks. Some bacon pieces, uh -huh. and then I'll save one without any bacon. Then my friends, I highly recommend adding some cheese, mozzarella on top. And then I'm gonna use some Colby cheese as well, something yellow. Yes, yes, yes. Don't forget, let's season with a little bit of salt in each cup. Touch of dried parsley just for visual. And I finally got around to buying an air fryer. Yes, I was looking for two specifications for mine. Number one. Number one, at least six liters of space. I know some people bought the smaller ones and then they get so fed up with it because you can only cook so little with it at a time and end up buying another one. Now you can make this in a standard oven or a microwave. It doesn't come out looking as pretty, but it's still doable. We'll put it at 165. And then we're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. Big asterisk. All right, and take a look. That was my second requirement. Something see-through, so I don't have to open it up every time and let all that like hot air out. Now I said 30 minutes, but depending on the size and strength of your air fryer, it might be significantly less, like 15 minutes, or maybe even slightly more. The best way, since all the air fryers are gonna vary, simply use a chopstick or a toothpick and then poke at it in the middle, just one of them, and then see if any wet batter comes up. If it does, just leave it in for longer. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's bubbling away. It's getting a nice crispy top. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh. Is that ice cream or is that bread? Wow, look how beautiful these guys are. Yeah, just take a look at this. Oh my goodness. I want to poke and see to see if there is wet batter still. Mine is dry. If yours comes out a little wet, just put it in for a little bit longer. Let's tear it up. Come free. Wow, take a look. How should we open this? Let me show you a nice midsection cut. We'll go in. You got your egg on top. You got your pancake on the bottom. You got your bacon bits in there and the cheese on the outside. Look at that. Now this looks a bit crazy, but get a little bit of hot sauce, your favorite one, Tabasco, whatever. I like to drizzle it on top and then bon appetit. Why the frowny face? The bottom has that like pancake taste. Then you got the eggs on top. Got a little bit of hot sauce because I'm Korean. And then the cheese on the outside and little bits of bacon. Amazing. Wow. Look at it. Look. Come on out here, little buddy. It's time to play. Cut this one in half as well. Mine looks like a house. Now, I also tried a second version and wrapped bacon around it. Take a look. Looks like something you could get for maybe $2.50, maybe $3 from your local baker, no? But much to my dismay, my chagrin, the middle came out raw. I think the bacon absorbed much of the heat. If you do it this way, make sure to leave it in the fryer for much longer. And again, use a toothpick to see if it needs to be in for longer. 
But if you don't have any bacon ambitions, go with the original version. And bon appetit. I love it because you got savory on top and they got a little bit of sweetness on the bottom. If you get the hot sauce, we got everything. Look at this face. This is a happy face right now. <laughs>